morning. Good morning. Behind me is a replica of an RAF dispersal hut that would have been the type used in the summer of 1940 during the Battle of Britain. Hi, Chip. Good day. How are you doing? I'm doing great. The uh, fighter command, part of RAF, needed to have fighters dispersed to a broad area on the east and southeast coast of England in order to be able to get up and quickly intercept incoming German raids. You have built this. So they built dispersal air fields and dispersal facilities where the pilots uh, would hang out, shelter under the, uh, the elements. So what you see behind you is a, a replica, uh, a, a downsized, you know, downscale version of a replica of a dispersal hut. Uh, dispersal huts were built uh, by the RAF uh, here before and during the Battle of Britain, which was in the summer of 1940. So, and uh, get ready to receive the, the phone call and the scramble bell that would send them scampering, hustling at full sprint out to the Hurricanes or the Spitfires to get aloft and intercept the incoming raid. And the uh, thought was to spread the squadrons out as far as possible in order to uh, have them in position uh, where the right type of planes, right number of planes intercept a German raid coming in based on the location, size of the formation, et cetera, et cetera. So this is all, little, all the comforts in the home. It'd be bigger than this. This is a kind of a, a smaller scale replica, but all the kinds of things you would see at a dispersal hut. You'd have the pilots waiting on the ground, the planes waiting on the ground, uh, rather than circling aimlessly, wasting fuel, waiting for the, uh, the enemy to appear. Communications, places for gear, uh, gas masks, and a few personalizations, all of the old fashioned pot really sell in the back room with a pot of tea about to come out. Between flights, they're resting, playing time, waiting for you know, the order to, uh, to go hold off, and so you would see uh, them just like this, they'd be relaxing in deck chairs, their you know, kit ready to grab and run and take to the plane with them. Uh, they would already have the life vest on just to save time. You come inside, get sheltered out of the elements. Nice pot belly stove uh, inside the dispersal hut. Uh, put on a pot of tea. Grab a bike during the day, etc. in between the uh, missions. Um, and again, some of these fighter pilots during the really bad days of the battle. And they would be up and down, up and down aloft multiple times during the day. It was exhausting. I'm doing that day after day after day, having you know, death stare you in the face uh, in the form of all sorts of wolf puffing planes. So what you see in here are either uh, original artifacts or replicas of things that would have been found in a, in a, uh, a squadron hut or a, a duty hut. Uh, probably most, one of the most important things is uh, communications. It's a group, so we have communication lines running off uh, to all the dispersal hotspots. 